I always get the hard ones. So um, I will give an example as an explanation. What is my local community doing for uh, the youth generally, not only the marginalized, but for uh, the youth. Everybody can participate. We have a, um, a budget. It's called um, participatory, participatory budget that we participate to create the budget, something like that. And um, uh, we wrote a project for a gym, uh, to build a gym, like an outside gym, you know, in the woods, uh, so we can do sports together. And we have this Facebook page and this group that meets every day and we run together, we do exercises together. And the local authorities provide us the gym and also some equipment that we can practice on. And uh, everybody can come. It doesn't matter if you're a student or you are old or young or, or you are completely outside of, of society, you still can come and participate, which I think is very good. And uh, we also try to make the space accessible, um, like the, the space, you know, and where I live there are no curves on the uh, sidewalk. You can reach uh, every point of the local area with on a wheelchair, for example, which is very good. What's bad, I think, it's that there is no jobs or hardly any jobs in the community where I live. There are, there are just houses, so um, I don't think uh, there is any kind of a, a way to develop yourself personally in order to succeed in the future. International cooperation can do a lot for the youth to include them, and uh, it's actually doing quite a lot. It's just doing it only on paper, and it's not really reaching us as the way they want us to be included. And by making all the exchanges and trainings and uh, making us believe that uh, there are so many opportunities, they really open our eyes. Just, you know, when you come to the real world, it, you learn that it's not always the way that they want it to be. And um, I think by making policies and really implement, implementing them, you can actually uh, get the results you want. It's just you have to combine both sides, the um, theot theoretical side and the practice side to make it work together. Like, for example, universities and the companies together, they will find a way to, to find this kind of education that will provide work for the future. Considering uh, Europe as a whole, um, there are a lot of projects going on trying to engage marginalized youth to um, society. Uh, but as European Union, there are more structured um, ways of engaging them. Uh, right now, there is a, a policy that uh, um, it's new implemented policy that is. Um, aiming at the youth uh, until 25th, I think, and they are um, trying to uh, guarantee a job for everybody, um, so they have a first job, first experience to start, and um, considering mar marginalized youth as uh, disabled or maybe uh, people with fewer opportunities, there are also programs that are 
trying to uh, trying to make it easier for them to find a job, even trying to make the workspace um, more accessible to them is already um, something. But I guess it's not enough, and there is a lot of people who are left behind. For example, the dropouts, they need more attention and I don't think there is nothing that I know of going on trying to get them back, to give them another chance. the world, I will try to quote a piece of uh, Great Gatsby, where he says that every time you are going to judge somebody, think that the person maybe did not have as many opportunities as you did. And that's my message to the world. <laughs>